everyone, Andrew Stormer here, and this right here is my computer that I've used for like the last two and a half years. And so the I'll do a super quick rundown that I got new parts. We're gonna put them in here, new CPU, new motherboard, new RAM, because new CPU needs new chips at motherboard and all the new CPUs only take R4 RAM. So that's why we have that. This right here, these three parts, 400 bucks. We're gonna be replacing the CPU motherboard and RAM in this thing right here. Uh, basically trying to make something that works. And why I needed to get all this was because this CPU runs super hot. It's eight cores, 4.7 gigahertz. And I've had this problem of the computer like crashing all the time uh, any games that get super hot, recordings um, being just destroyed because the computer crashes. So if you follow me on Twitter, I've talked about it a couple times there, is throughout a few videos, sometimes you'll hear me say, oh, recordings poof because computer crashed or whatever. So we are gonna get this thing fixed after two and a half years. And for that 2.5 years, I didn't know what the problem is. I kind of thought it was a CPU heat thing, but the thing is, is that this CPU, first it's super hot, which I knew at the beginning, but the thing I didn't know is there's a spec on CPUs, which is a max temperature. And usually they're around 90, 95 degrees Celsius is their max temp. This one here, 57. So it's really crap and you can just be going along playing a game, normal temps according to everything, but then blue screen shuts off, whatever, maybe even not a blue screen. Usually it's not, just crash computer, everything gone. So we are getting rid of that thing and we're replacing it with something even better. So rendering times are gonna go down and I can play games at higher graphics, higher, performance, better frames, just better performance overall. And if you want to buy this build that I'm doing, which is a mix between my original and the new stuff here, there's a link in the description to my kit website and you can get all of that on Amazon with affiliate links, which means that I get like, I don't know, 2.5% back of whatever you buy. So it's a way for me to make just a little bit of money that I can put back into doing YouTube stuff. So let's get into this. This thing's so dirty, it's insane. I need to dust it all out with like compressed air or something. But first thing we gotta do, uh, take out the CPU cooler. We also need to take out the graphics card and then uh, just unplug everything. is off. Look at how dusty this thing is. Holy crap. But <laughs> all the thermal paste, it's like, I mean, it's still wet, but it, that thing just popped right off. It didn't like have any stick to it. Holy cow. So we're going to take out the bottom plate here and keep going. board is out so uh, I'm just gonna put this aside for now but I'm going to take the RAM out and I don't know I might take the 
CPU out. I don't know, I might just leave it in there. It's time for the new stuff. Here we go. Anti-static bag. So make sure you are grounded and not grounded in that way. But so I have an MSI board here and it, this is all we need. We don't even need that. Oh man, we can put an MSI sticker on here, but we're gonna save that for later. Get this stuff out of there. And this is the plate for back here, but we're just gonna leave that over on the side. For now, we need to take this out. This is so pretty. Look at this. Holy cow. Man, that's actually really pretty. So first thing we're gonna do is get the CPU in here. Get your knife and watcha. So crazy how they have this big of a box just for something that big right there. So we can just throw that over there. Get our new stickers for later too. Okay, here it is the new processor right here. The Ryzen 7 1800X. And we have to flip this open and grab it here. And we're just going to put all this stuff down. And so you have your little arrow on the bottom here and then you find the little thing on here. Okay, and there we go, that's in. And then we're gonna get the RAM. Here's a nice DDR4 RAM. Oh man, it's looking good. And hopefully this is gonna fit with that giant cooler in there, but we are gonna pop it into these two slots because it should be the two like that. So get the first one out here. It's like performing surgery. And then wait for the clicks, bam, bam. And same with this one. Cool. There we go. RAM is in, CPU's in, we're good. tested everything out so now we're gonna be good to go and so first things first I need to put the CPU mount onto the back of the motherboard and then we're gonna put the cooler on the motherboard here ran into a problem also the battery is gonna die um, this plate doesn't fit on the motherboard
re-explain everything because I just realized that I wasn't recording audio. So what I did is this stupid CPU, like the other cooler, it wouldn't fit in with the AM4 socket, even though it claims it has an AM4 socket. Um, if I would have, I could have gotten a free adapter from Cooler Master like two years ago when Ryzen first came out, but that's two years ago. Now, they don't really exist, so that's wonderful. What is nice, though, is this cooler, which isn't as beefy, so it's only going to be a temporary cooler, um, but it should be fine because this CPU is a little bit cooler than the other one. At least it should be. Maybe under load, not quite as much, but that uh, this one actually works with the AM4 socket, and I just happen to have one. So we're having this one in. I might go liquid in the future. This case isn't really made for it. It's the motherboard's just like shoved right up against everything. And I think the motherboard would get in the way of any sort of radiator. So liquid cooled, I've really been kind of putting off till I get a new case. All the wiring I just did, this piece right here, some motherboards you don't need instructions for um, because they're labeled that well, but some you do, like this one is not labeled that well, so you need instructions for that. Also, how to mount the cooler, you need instructions for. That's everything you need instructions for though, everything else, if you're like me, you can just do off of knowledge. And even that stuff badly labeled or the cooler. Um, if you're like a master builder, you might be able to get away with no instructions. It's a very black build now. Like uh, originally it had the blue flare in the motherboard now. Now the motherboard is just like black gray. Uh, the RAM used to have silver in it. Now it's just black and the graphics card's black. This is black. Everything's black now. So I kind of like it. I think white would be kind of cool, but it's what we have. It looks good and we are going to plug it in in just a second. I'm going to put on the window panel which is right here and test this thing out we also need to christen the beast with the new stickers which i did the honors of removing the old peasant stickers already and so we have an msi sticker and a ryzen 7 sticker and those are going to go right up here. Now you can see it, there it is. Okay, let's turn this thing on. The moment of truth. It's starting. Dude, it worked. We're in the BIOS. Yes, so I'm gonna set this stuff up and, oh man, we're almost there. It's restarting right now, but everything's working. It's awesome, so. We'll find out over the next few, however many weeks or whatever, but hopefully you'll see a little bit of boost in uh, increase in performance or quality in the upcoming videos. And yeah, it's booting up again. And I'm just going to do a few tests, do a couple restarts, make sure all the drivers are running well. And that's it. So. That's an upgraded computer right there. I'm excited for no more crashes. Finally, it was getting so frustrating at one point. It was basically like last weekend or something. I probably had 20 crashes. It just insane, but jokes on it, no more. I'm gonna be able to play more games, um, not have crashes, meaning also more videos because I'm not wasting my time trying to make up stuff that I already did and also faster um, rendering times meaning I have more time to do stuff. If you want to stay tuned for all that stuff hit subscribe and that's gonna do it so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.